Hi, my name is Alex. I'm one of the engineers here at Pilot Precision Products. Thank you for joining us. Today we're going to be going over our CNC broaching program that can be used in virtually any milling or turning machine. Let's start by looking at the part we're going to be broaching today. This part is going to have four blind quarter inch keyways and we're going to use this tool right here to come in here and broach the four keyways within the CNC machine. So the issue with CNC broaching is that CAM softwares do not have an inherent broaching cycle, so we have created this program here to help solve that issue. We've designed this program using macro variables, which allows the user to easily change parameters between jobs. But let's take a look at the program. So here are all the variables that control the program. It can be easily edited by the user. Uh, every machine is a little bit different, so you might see different variables. For example, on this Okuma, the letter V denotes a variable number. Now let's go through each variable one by one and explain what it's used for. Tool number. This is where you're going to input the tool number that you're using for your broaching tool. Cut per pass. This is how much you want to cut every pass of the broach. The feed rate is going to be in inches per minute on how fast you want to run that broach. Number of finished passes is how many passes the broach will take at its final depth. Tool width is where you're going to put the width of your insert. The hole diameter is going to be the diameter of the hole that you're putting the keyway into. Keyway depth from center is going to be a distance from the center line of the hole to the depth of the key. Hole X position is going to be where the hole is in relation to the center of the spindle on the X axis. Z part face is the Z offset to the face of the part. Z bottom is going to be the Z offset to the bottom of the keyway. Program radius or diameter. This is going to be if your machine uses the radius or the diameter to program the x-axis. C-axis angle is going to be the C-axis of your keyway or the first keyway if you're doing a spline. Blind hole is going to determine if you're doing a through keyway or a blind keyway. Blind hole exit angle, this is going to be the angle that the tool exits to work if you're doing a blind hole. Number of teeth for spline, this is going to be how many teeth are in your spline. If you're not doing a spline, just put one. Now let's run this program on this part. Here you can see the tool broaching the keyway in the part, incrementing two thousandths per pass. Once it has finished the keyway, the spindle will index onto the next keyway and repeat. Thank you for joining us today. I hope this was helpful. If you ever have any questions at all, feel free to reach out and we'll be more than happy to help you. Thanks, Alex. You know, my name is Marco Morgato. I'm the uh, Director of Sales for the U.S. And uh, Pilot Precision are, is a merger of Hassi and Dumont Minuteman brooches. And we've also added our Dumont CNC line, which Alex kind of spoke of here today. So one of the terms we've coined for our uh, marketing strategy is our tooling concierge. That's how we define the service level that we want to bring to you as our customer. Alex and Gary in our engineering department, they are here and they are available to support you in implementation of your broaching operations to help you maximize within your CNC system how to approach uh, our tools and make it as efficient as possible so that you're not wrestling and fighting with trying to create a program. So with this macro that Alex has written and our team has available to you, they are available once they send you the macro to work with you and help you to implement it and make the adjustments you need for your specific machine controls. Thank you for visiting us today and let us know how we can help you.